Stoicism is the endurance of pain and hardship without the display of feelings. So you're not going to be as reactive to your emotions. You're just a rock and nothing affects you. If someone's screaming right in front of you, right at your face, you're not going to be emotional. You're going to be calm. Being calm in situations is honestly one of the best things that you can do because when you're emotional, you're just not thinking straight. You're going to just go into making decisions the wrong way and it's going to cause so much more problems in the future. So that's why the best thing to do is to go from emotional to calm. A lot of times when we're emotional as well, we take things for granted. We don't realize how good our life is until that set thing is taken away from us. That's why being calm, you just, you're more in a gratitude state. Our perception on reality plays a really big role. We have to realize there are things that we can't control and there are things that we can't control. So we can't necessarily control the things that happen to us, but we could control how we react to that situation. So for example, if you're stuck in traffic, you can't control that there's traffic. What you can't control is how you react to it. You could either be very pissed off and like angry at the world, or you can realize that it's nothing that you can control and to not let it ruin your day. So with stoicism, you basically start to turn any negative situation into a more of a positive outlook. So you stop just having this, this negative mindset where everything is like, you just think everything is going wrong and you start to open up, you start to have this positive mindset and realize that there's a reason behind everything. And there's, there's something that there's a new perspective that you're going to gain on life. So a good practice that a lot of Stoics do is they would picture the worst outcome of any situation and just be cont contempt knowing that that situation could end up a reality. This is a good practice because it helps you be prepared for anything that's going to happen. You know, if you're just pushing off this one thought and like thinking like, oh, that's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. When it does happen, you're going to be like shattered inside. Well, when you're contempt knowing that this event could take place and you will be fine when it takes place, you will be stoic, then you're just going to be in such a calm state. You're going to feel more happier. Another great way to look at the perception of stoicism is to think about urges. Now, you're going to get urges for the rest of your life. This is something that you can't control. You can try fixing your environment, but the urge will always come. You're always going to get an urge for something. For example, let's say you get the urge to eat a piece of cake. Now you can't control that urge, but what you could, you can't control getting that urge, but what you can control is you can control the way you react to that urge, the way you react to that situation. So there were like four well-known Stoics, Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, Epictetus, Zeno. And what these men were known for was being calm in the midst of war, hard times, all of that, just like bad times for them. They, they knew what to do and the reason why is because they were so calm they didn't let their emotions get to them so these men most of the time had people that were trying to revolt against them trying to talk bad about their name because they were great men back in the day and you would think that these men who were great would would bash on the people who are trying to take them down they would try to get them murdered or try to ruin their reputation as well but instead what these men did was they practiced stoicism in a way where they did not go for revenge they gave them the benefit of the doubt and they gave them a second chance. And now this is what a lot of us struggle with these days. When someone wrongs us, we just get so emotional over it. We get so heated that we just want to like bash on them back. We just we just want to do something bad to them. But this is not the, the way to look at life. If you want to be happier in life, the best way is to just give everyone the benefit of the doubt. Realize that if they're hating on you, there's a reason why they're hating on you. There's something in their life that they don't enjoy. So the best thing to do is to just realize that if you have this positive mindset of not caring what other people do, not not feeling anger every time someone wrongs you, then you're just going to feel so much better in life. So the next thing is you have to be minimalistic. You can't be materialistic because when you're materialistic, you're always just going to want more. You're going to want more and more and more. And if you think about it, like 
at the end of the day, it's just objects. Like, who cares that you have a t-shirt with some type of name on it? I mean, I think that's completely stupid. Honestly, like, I would never get, like, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, all that stuff. Because, like, if you think about it, like, you're spending that much money on a t-shirt just because it has a little logo or a little name. Like, have we really, like, become that stupid? The best thing to do is just to be contempt with what you have. Don't always seek more. Because at the end of the day, that, that stuff that you think is going to give you happiness it won't it will give you temporary happiness for a few days few weeks and then after you're just gonna be seeking more you're gonna be and if you get stuck in this trap you're just constantly gonna be in a battle you're, you're constantly gonna be just feeling like crap we have to stay authentic to our true self we can't be trying to please others this is this is what the great stoics had they didn't care what others thought about them they didn't care if someone didn't like them they were authentic they were their true self Say what's on your mind and stop being scared what people will think about you. These days we have cancel culture and everyone's just scared. Everyone's timid. Everyone thinks that someone's going to like attack them. And, and honestly, who cares? Like just be yourself and realize that at the end of it, no one truly cares what you do at the end of it. They might be hating online, but if they're hating, they're just insecure about their own life. When you're constantly caring about what others will say about you, what they'll think about you, you just have this chain around your neck and it's just stopping you from achieving what you want in life i had this huge chain on my neck when i first wanted to start youtube i was so scared what others would think but once i just finally did it i realized not only is no one thinking about you that it doesn't matter it doesn't matter even if they did think about you because at the end of the day it's your life and you should be doing what you want in life think about it would you let a random stranger come and spend the night at your house probably not because you know you'd be scared that they would do something to you your family your kids your brothers sisters anything like that so why would you let a stranger in your mind one of the most important places of all when you let them into your mind they're sabotaging your positive thinking they're sabotaging your mind they're basically murdering your progress if you care about what others think you are their prisoner. I keep stressing this because it's very, very important. And you can't be stoic if you care what others are going to say about you. The best way to improve your stoicism right away is to literally stop caring what others have to say. So next we have to focus on character development. A lot of these stoics had a very good view on character development. Realize that at the end of the tunnel, there's always light. When you're, you're going to go through hard times in life, no one in the world doesn't go through hard times everyone goes through hard times and you can either be sad about it be depressed angry or you could be happy knowing that you're learning something from the situation we have the ability to choose a response to any situation that comes at us so like i said you can either be happy or you could be angry and why would you just be angry that's just going to hinder your progress when you could be happy knowing that there's something that you learn and you're one step closer to your goals one step closer to your dreams Stoic people are not scared of failure. Stoic people believe that it's an op opportunity to growth. Now, you have to realize that you cannot go to the past and change that failure. But what you could do is prevent it. So stop always constantly battling your mind, just thinking about the past. Focus on your future. Focus on how you can improve. Focus on what you can do to avoid that failure again. Instead of being so like sad and just feeling sorry for yourself that something didn't go your way just realize that it, there's something that you're that god is trying to teach you there's something that you're supposed to learn in order to move on and go to the next chapter in your life hard times are meant to strengthen our character so a good stoic exercise that improves your character development and improves your feelings of gratitude is called voluntary discomfort and this is when you do something hard for a purpose to Feel more gratitude and feel more thankful for what you do have in life for example instead of taking your car to work you go one day just walking and this will cause you to be so much more thankful for that car a lot of these stoics did that and they they did this on extreme levels because they just wanted to to realize what they have and feel more gratitude for what they have being stoic is just like i said being a rock not letting anything around you affect you not being emotional Men are not supposed to be emotional. This uh, generation kind of just puts this on men where they're trying to teach men to be emotional. Men are supposed to be stoic, not supposed to be emotional. So remember, next time you're going through hard times, to be stoic, 
and to not let any of it get into your mind and realize that there's something good coming out at the end of it. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. See you.